Romance is in the air and scammers are trying to break hearts. According to the Internet Crime Complaint Center, Floridians lost more than $70 million to frauds like romance scams in 2021 alone. To talk about what we are seeing locally, yes, a lot of victims here locally, and how you can protect yourself, Assistant Special Agent in Charge Sean Ryan with FBI Jacksonville. Good morning to you. A lot of people think that this isn't going to happen to them or their loved ones, but the statistics would beg to differ. Yeah, thanks, Vic. Uh, so last year, based on the Internet Crime Complaint Center's uh, reported losses, uh, which are preliminary numbers, we're looking at losses of $740 million with over 19,000 victims. You said reported. A lot of people don't necessarily report this because they're too embarrassed. Correct. So it's higher. It could be. It's the unknown. We don't know what we don't know. So right. that's we're always encouraging people uh, to report losses or potential losses, even if they have not incurred a financial loss. Agent Ryan, there's a lot of scams out there. What are you at the FBI seeing uh, most common now? So with these romance scams, also known as confidence fraud, the criminals or the scammers are trying to gain the trust of their victims, usually from online dating sites. Mm -hmm. uh, once they've established the, the contact, they build that rapport over time. It could be days, weeks, months, or years. And then they may start asking for money uh, because of whatever situation they're in. Do they start small with little simple requests and then it they escalates? Do. Absolutely. It, it, and there could be emergencies that come up uh, very quickly where they, they need money and they need it ASAP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that what you would call a red flag in law enforcement? Absolutely. I, it's definitely called a clue, uh, especially when these uh, scammers or criminals uh, cannot meet you in person for whatever reason. Mm -hmm, You've mm -hmm. never met them in person. Now they're asking you for money. Mm -hmm. So Valentine's Day obviously is, is coming up. It's right around the corner next week. Is there an increase in the number of scams around that holiday? There are. Uh, people uh, and these criminals, they have a great script. They've tried this. It's worked uh, with criminals uh, and victims globally mm -hmm. around the world. So um, they're doing this. The criminals are doing this. It's their full-time job, and they are making a lot of money from this. They are, and that's so unfortunate. Is there a, a specific type of victim that you see more often than others? Um, well, on the criminal side, it's typically males, uh, and they're typically focused on victims uh, that are females over the age of 40, um, and these victims could be divorced, widowed, or disabled. Mm. So they're going after people who are lonely yes. a lot of times. Individuals that are looking for companionship, friendship, or romantic relationships. All right. So we understand that the FBI is also seeing a, a lot of people asking for cryptocurrency, digital money. Yes, and for law enforcement, it's more difficult to trace than your conventional banking transactions. The criminals typically will highlight a, a fantastic cryptocurrency um, profit uh, or investment opportunity that looks great. Uh, so the criminal may point the, the victim to an illegitimate website. The victim may originally invest a couple hundred dollars in the next day or two, they're seeing that investment grow to two or $300. Uh, where the victim can then get the money back, but then a few days later, the criminal is asking for thousands of dollars. And once the victim sends thousands of dollars, sometimes the criminals cease all contact with the victim mm. and the victim cannot uh, get their money back. Mm -hmm. And hard to trace them. Absolutely. Too. Hard to trace them. Absolutely. Finally, I want to ask you about social media and these dating sites. What is your expert advice to make sure that you are not a target and that if you are targeted, you shut that down? So be careful, ask questions. Uh, if it sounds too good to be true, oftentimes it is too good to be true. If you think you know somebody that's a victim, please go to our uh, FBI.gov website, mm -hmm. FBI.gov slash romance scams, um, and report this to IC3.gov or your local law enforcement or your local FBI office. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not able to help yourself, you can potentially help future people from falling victim to that scammer. Yes. Assistant Special Agent in Charge, Sean Ryan with FBI Jacksonville. Thank you for your time this morning. Vic, thank you.